Here are 30 most commonly asked interview questions. Related to enterprise structure in SAP SD interviews, along with detailed and informative answers. 1. What is the enterprise structure in SAP SD? Answer. Enterprise structure in SAP SD represents the organizational hierarchy of a company. It includes organizational units such as sales organization, distribution channel, and division. 2. Explain the key components of the SAP SD enterprise structure. Answer. The key components of the SAP SD enterprise structure include A. Sales organization represents the highest level in sales structure. B. Distribution channel defines the method of distribution, for example, wholesale or retail. C. Division represents a product line or business area. 3. How is the sales organization determined in SAP SD? Answer. The sales organization is determined based on the company code in the sales document. It is assigned to the customer master record and is used for sales order processing. 4. What is the purpose of the distribution channel in SAP SD? Answer. The distribution channel defines how products reach customers. It distinguishes between different channels such as wholesale, retail, or online sales. 5. Explain the significance of the division in SAP SD. Answer. The division represents a product line or business area. It allows for the categorization of products or services within a sales organization. 6. How can you configure a new sales organization in SAP SD? Answer. To configure a new sales organization, use transaction code OVAX3. You define the sales organization, its description, and assign it to the company code. 7. What is the role of the sales area in SAP SD enterprise structure? Answer. The sales area is a combination of the sales organization, distribution channel, and division. It uniquely identifies a sales scenario in SAP SD. 8. How is the shipping point determined in SAP SD? Answer. The shipping point is determined based on the combination of the sales organization, distribution channel, and plant. In the sales document, it represents the location where goods are shipped. 9. Explain the relationship between plant and division in SAP SD. Answer. The plant is assigned to the combination of sales organization and distribution channel in a sales area. It represents the location where products are produced or stored and is linked to a specific division. 10. How does SAP handle pricing based on the distribution channel in SAP SD? Answer. Pricing based on the distribution channel is configured using condition records. Condition types are assigned to the pricing procedure and condition records. Specify prices based on the combination of sales organization and distribution channel. 11. What is the purpose of the shipping conditions in SAP SD? Answer. Shipping conditions determine the method and timing of product delivery to customers. They are defined in the sales document and influence shipping-related processes. 12. How can you configure a new distribution channel in SAP SD? Answer. To configure a new distribution channel, use transaction code OVAX2. Define the distribution channel, its description, and assign it to the sales organization. 13. Explain the concept of division in relation to material master data in SAP SD. Answer. In material master data, the division is assigned to the material. It categorizes products or services based on product lines or business areas defined at the sales organization level. 14. How can you define a new division in SAP SD? Answer. To define a new division, use transaction code OVAX1. Specify the division and its description and assign it to the sales organization. 15. What is the significance of sales office and sales group in SAP SD? Answer. Sales office and sales group are optional organizational units that can be used for further segmentation in the sales organization. They provide additional levels of hierarchy for sales related activities. 16. How does SAP handle credit control at the sales area level in SAP SD? Answer. 
credit control is managed at the sales area level in SAP SD. The credit control area is assigned to the sales organization, and credit limits are set based on this assignment. 17. Explain the purpose of the shipping point in SAP SD. Answer. The shipping point is a location from which goods are shipped to customers. It is determined based on the combination of sales organization, distribution channel, and plant in the sales document. 18. How can you configure a new plant in SAP SD? Answer. To configure a new plant, use transaction code AUX10. Define the plant, its description, and assign it to the company code. 19. What is the significance of the shipping conditions field in the customer master record? Answer. The shipping conditions field in the customer master record specifies the default shipping conditions for a customer. It is automatically transferred to the sales document. 20. How can you assign a sales area to a customer in SAP SD? Answer. Sales areas are assigned to a customer in the customer master record using transaction code VDO2. You enter the sales organization, distribution channel, and division relevant to the customer. 21. Explain the role of the loading group in SAP SD. Answer. The loading group is used to group materials based on loading characteristics. It is assigned to the material master record and influences loading related processes. 22. How does SAP handle delivery processing based on the sales area in SAP SD? Answer. Delivery processing in SAP SD is based on the combination of sales organization, distribution channel, and division. The system determines the shipping point and other relevant information for delivery creation. 23. What is the significance of the sales group in SAP SD? Answer. The sales group represents a group of salespeople or individuals responsible for specific sales activities. It provides a further level of segmentation within the sales organization. 24. How can you configure a new sales office in SAP SD? Answer. To configure a new sales office, use transaction code OVEX4. Define the sales office, its description, and assign it to the sales organization. 25. What is the relationship between sales document type and sales area in SAP SD? Answer. The sales document type is linked to the sales area. Each sales document type is defined for a specific combination of sales organization, distribution channel, and division. 26. Explain how SAP handles tax determination based on the sales area in SAP SD. Answer. Tax determination in SAP SD is based on the combination of sales organization, distribution channel, and division. Tax codes are assigned to this sales area in the customer and material master records. 27. What is the purpose of the sales organization in the material master record in SAP SD? Answer. The sales organization in the material master record defines the default sales organization for the material. It is used during sales document processing. 28. How does SAP handle partner determination for a sales area in SAP SD? Answer. Partner determination in SAP SD is configured based on the sales area. You define partner functions and assign them to the sales document type, which is linked to the sales area. 29. Explain the significance of the business area in SAP SD. Answer. The business area is an organizational unit used for financial reporting. It is assigned to the combination of sales organization, distribution channel, and division in SAP SD. 30. How can you configure a new sales group in SAP SD? Answer. To configure a new sales group, use transaction code OVAC6. Define the sales group, its description, and assign it to the sales organization. These questions and answers cover various aspects of enterprise structure in SAP SD, providing a comprehensive understanding for interview preparation. Interviewers may tailor questions based on specific project requirements or the candidate's experience level. For more exciting tips, tricks and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, please share like and subscribe to my channel it has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews 
It has a wide range of real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for interviews, and it has wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science, SAP, AWS, DevOps, and full-stack web development, and more. That will be useful during interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers and real-world portfolio projects of various technologies for freshers. For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most. Asked interview questions and make themselves ready for interviews.